What is going on, everybody? Old Man Rebel coming at you from Buckeye, Arizona. Happy Sunday evening, folks. The 29th of January, 2023. And yes, yes, Old Man Rebel is playing naval action. And tonight, folks, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about a ship. Actually, one of my favorite ships in the game. So let's go ahead and go to the peace server. Let's get this going. Okay. Uh, we're talking about a frigate. Not a ship of the line. Not a trader. We're talking about a good old frigate and folks I have I have nicknamed this little frigate the little frigate that could that's what I'm calling it so let's go ahead and get in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about so we are talking about the HMS Pandora bringing you that horizon that's it folks yeah, there she is the HMS Pandora in all her glory check her out folks gosh she's sexy that's a sexy ship. <laughs> uh, I, hey, I'm a sucker for a frigate. So, yeah, let's, let's take a little look around. Look at the work on this ship. Now, naturally, I got a paint scheme going and all that stuff. But I want to show you something about the... Uh, check out the, uh, the, the figurehead. You got Pandora right there, right? There she is. Okay, the figurehead of the ship. And then look what she's holding. A little Pandora's box. That is so cool. <laughs> I just think that's badass. Anyway, so let's get into it. So here's my ship. So the HMS Pandora in game. Well, first of all, let's talk about her in game and then we'll talk about what the Pandora was historically. Okay, because the in game version of the ship is not really historical. So let's start right there. In game, uh, naval action has, has set her at a rank five. Okay, she's a 46 gun frigate. Okay. Uh, your standard upgrades are three slots, one, two, and three. I already got two used. Okay, she has three decks, and her battle rating in-game is a battle rating of 100. Crew complement is 210, but with hammocks, you can push that up to uh, 226, and that's what I'm using right now, just to give me a little extra manpower, especially when the cannons uh, start firing and uh, I start losing them into splinters on the gun deck. So it is, it is helpful to have that. My current ship is built with teak and sabaku. I got teak as my frame and sabaku as my planking. It's a, it's kind of a, a healthy balance between speed and strength, and that's what I want. I wanted to find that happy medium. Um, the uh, the Pandora folks uh, is not. <laughs> let let me back up. A, a lot of players have a real sour taste in their mouth with this ship because they think it's underpowered, undergunned, undercrewed. And it just can't do anything in game, whether it be PVE or PVP. I understand that. I understand where they're coming from. But I think, and this it's just my opinion, I think these captains are looking at the ship and they are completely expecting unreasonable performance for what this ship is. Okay, This ship is pretty much a light frigate. It's designed to, to go after traitors. It's designed to attack enemy shipping. It's designed to go after low-tier warships. Uh, folks, you're not going to take this and go up against a Constitution class. Uh, you're not going to go up against a Trent Kamali. You're not going to go up against a fourth-rate, third-rate ship of the line. I mean, come on. Really? It's, it's a rowboat <laughs> in those regards with guns. Okay, so come on. You don't have the gunpowder. You don't have the crew, you don't have the armor, uh, you have speed and agility, but that's not going to do you too well when they start blowing down the mass. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that. Okay, so with that whole thing about a lot of people in, in naval action going, oh, this, this, this ship's a piece of crap, and oh, God, it's useless. No, y you just need to learn how to sail it and fight it. You got to know what she can do and what she can't do, just like anything else in life, okay? So the HMS Pandora, the real HMS Pandora, the HMS Pandora was a 24-gun porcupine-class six-rate post ship of the Royal Navy. So a post ship is basically, it's that little niche between a, a, a real frigate and a, yeah, we're trying to make a frigate. That's what she was. Uh, the Pandora is best known for its role in hunting down the Bounty Mutineers in 1790, which remains one of the best-known stories in the history of seafaring. Pandora was partially successful by capturing 14 of the Mutineers, but wrecked on the Great Barrier Reef on the return voyage in 1791 to England. Uh, 
she was carrying 14 prisoners back to England when she ran aground on the Great Barrier Reef, thus destroying the ship. HMS Pandora is considered to be one of the most significant shipwrecks in the southern hemispheres. And yes, they, folks, she has been found. And uh, yeah, they do dive on her and they do take pictures and video of her. And she's there. The Pandora. Some of the technical specs of the ship. Uh, she was ordered on the 11th of February 1778 by the Admiralty and the builder selected was Adams and Bernard Grove Street Shipyard in Deptford. Her keel was laid down on the 2nd of March of 1778. The ship was launched the 17th of May 1779 and she completed her outfitting and sea trials on the 3rd of July 1779 at Deptford Dockyard. She was finally commissioned into the Royal Navy May of 1779. Her fate, unfortunately, she was wrecked on the 28th of August 1791 in the Torres Strait, aka where the Great Barrier Reef is. Okay. Class and type of the ship, she is a sixth rate porcupine class frigate. Historically, she was armed with 24 guns, obviously naval action has brought her up to 46 guns for balance issues I I guess that's how they did that the length of the ship was 114 feet 7 inches overall 94 feet 9 and a half inches at the keel so basically you're 114 feet from your stem or the bow to the stern okay right over here that was 114 feet now from the rudder to the to the, uh, the the stem post or keel post right down here was 94 feet. Her beam right here, the width of the ship, her beam was 94 feet nine and a half inch, or I'm sorry, 32 feet three inches. Yeah, 94 feet. That's a big ass frigate. Uh, 32 feet three inches, and her draft right here, folks. Her draft is from the water line to the to keel. Her draft was seven feet four inches. It's normal load. And her draft increased to 11 feet even, fully loaded for a, a mission or a voyage with all crew, guns, ammo, gunpowder, you name it. They had everything, the grog, the salt beef, the salt pork, the rations, everything. That's what, that's, what she, that's what she went down to. The depth of her hold was 10 feet 3 inches. Not bad. Not bad. She has a little room to carry some stuff. Crew complement and the historical ship was 160 men. That's including the captain, the first officer, and your uh, the subsequent officers below that. Her armament as built, her upper deck, her gun deck right here. That's her main gun deck, folks. Uh, 22 nine-pounders, and that is represented accurately in game. You are carrying nine-pounders on this ship. Her quarter deck carried two six-pounders, okay, and... She had obviously some carronades and stuff like that, which is represented in game. Okay. The total displacement of the Pandora, which is kind of interesting because she's a light frigate, it was only, uh, give or take, about 524 tons displacement. Okay. Now, folks, when we're talking about displacement, we're talking about what water is displaced by the hull of the ship. There is no scale on Earth that you can just take a ship up into, lay it on the scale, and go, hmm, this is what it weighs. So engineers, even back in those days, and true today, had to figure out displacement. Well, how much water does this hull displace out of the way for the ship to sit there? Well, they calculated that the Pandora was 524 tons. Kind of light, considering the fact the Constitution was a heavy frigate, well over that. Uh, <laughs> The, the your first rate, second rate, third rate ship of the line, even fourth rate ship of the line, twice that. So she's a little boat. She's a little boat, but that can come in handy for you guys. It, it's not a bad little boat. Early service, obviously, design, construction, uh, Pandora, nine pounder frigate. Uh, she was designed, check this out, she was designed by John Williams in 1776. Uh, basically, the Pandora was a, was a large, enlarged version of the Sphinx class frigate, and that's true. If you look at a Sphinx, that's the same damn boat. So, 
like I said, folks, I mean, early service, I, I can go on and on and on. Pandora's first service was in the channel during the 1779 threatened invasion. The Pandora was designed to patrol the English Channel in case the French or Spanish attacked, and uh, that's what she would do. Obviously, she was made famous uh, in later years by hunting down the, the HMS Bounty mutineers and then subsequently wrecked herself in the Great Barrier Reef. All in all, a pretty good ship. But sitting here talking about her in port is not going to change her mind about her. So let's go ahead and leave port. Let's go, let's go pick a fight. Let's see how she does. Let's see how she does in battle. Preparing walking planks. Yep, yes we are. All right, let's take her Pandora. Let's go. We are in Mortimer Town. Yes, I have a pirate. Ta-da. And uh, let's go and take a look around the ship. There's all my 24-pound carronades on the quarter deck. I do got my pickle guns. Okay, the Pandora did historically carry pickle guns. Let's take a look around her. See the little pickle guns right here? Check it out. She carried that. On the bow and the stern, she does carry six pound uh, stern chasers and six pound chasers up front. Main gun deck, nine pounders, and obviously my 24 pounders on the quarter deck. So, let's go ahead and get some sail. There we go. Get her good. Uh, yay! Folks, the Pandora class is a square rigged ship, and that basically means it's a square rigger. That's a square rigger, yeah, as you look at her. She has a bowsprit, a foremast, a mainmast, and a mizzenmast. And, you know, we'll make another video talking about all these sails and what they're called and what they do and and how they're supposed to operate. Who's this guy? Oh, I can't attack him. What about this guy? Nope. What about that guy? Yeah, let's go after a Mercury. <laughs> we found somebody to shoot. Let's see how the Pandora does in action. Now I got a full crew, full guns. My rank's high enough. Attack. Ooh, the Mercury's a bitch. She really is. Okay. All right. HMS Pandora going into battle against a NPC Mercury. Got about 17 seconds. Let's take a look around. There's my boat. There's my pirate flag, folks. I fly that flag for my wife, Donna. My wife, Donna, loves pirates, and she loves that flag. So, we're going to fly it. Let's go to battle sails. We are starting here shortly. You know, I really wish the countdown time in a battle would be like, you know, maybe 10 seconds. But for some reason, they start like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Here we go. Three, two. One, and we are in battle. All right, let's go. Sails are coming up. Crew's coming alive. No, oh, right. So, yep, yep, that's a Mercury, all right. Okay, she's going to turn towards us. She's probably going to fire at us, so we better be prepared. We're picking up speed. Yep, there she goes. Ooh, ow. Now, the cool thing about the Pandora, folks, is she's very maneuverable. If you use the right wood, you don't make her too heavy, like with oak oak or something like that. She's very maneuverable. So I guess you just you gotta figure out your 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 style of play. Do you wanna go after warships? Let's put some in her sails. There we go. Do you wanna go after hard hitting warships or do you wanna chase down trade? It depends. My Pandora's built to chase down trade and, and to fight little guys like this. I'm not going to go up against a, a heavy frigate. Oh, it is going to hurt. Oh, she's shooting. Yeah, let her shoot. Let her shoot. Let her shoot. I want to get close to her. There we go. That's what I want. Let's give her a broadside. Let's fire from the uh, larboard side. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> yep. Let's go ahead and turn away. I'm gonna engage her with my stern chasers. Two good hits. My starboard battery. 
We'll be ready to go. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Wait for the up row. And shoot. <laughs> She's not liking life, folks. The Pandora class, like I said, it you know, it it's a very maneuverable little frigate. Okay? You're not like I said, you're not gonna you could try, but you're not gonna win against the Constitution or Trink or something like that, but um don't let that discourage you. Uh this little ship, this little frigate that could, is actually pretty powerful and very maneuverable, and in the hands of a good captain, she's very deadly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let her have it. Let her have it. Yeah. Beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. Let's come hard to larboard. Yeah, she maneuvered all right. She ain't stupid. Yeah, I got my carronades ready. We might as well fire at her. Let's we'll see if we can hit her. Oh, I just chunked that into the ocean. Did you see that? <laughs> What kind of gunpowder charges they put in those? They're like, you just chuck them out. <laughs> Would have better off just throwing some rum bottles at the son of a bitch. <laughs> God have mercy. All right, well, we're going to go and cut the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's shooting. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to bounce the shots. I'm going to turn into the wind. Ow. There we go. Reloading. Eh, I was firing my pickle guns at her. What do you think? pickle gun action folks those little two pound pickle guns are a beast especially when it's boarding because they're designed to take out crew if you look at them see them right there yeah they're mean little bastards it's like a shotgun on steroids makes the carronades look like little bitches let's come back around yeah, let's put our bow guns into her Ooh, ow, 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 I'm gonna fire back at you, you son of a bitch! There we go. I really do like this ship. I really do enjoy this ship. And when, and when you're fully crewed and you got some awesome upgrades, you can really have a good time. Oh, there we go. Wow. Light her up. Ooh, hit a gun. You see that? Take the sales manual. Now, you see how I'm maneuvering? I'm trying to stay behind her stern as best I can. I don't want her getting behind my stern because that's a weak point of the ship. You put some cannonballs down that stern, you'll be taking out my guns and crew. It's just how these ships operated. That's where the term uh, stern rake and bow rake comes in. That's how they fought. If they could get behind the ship and they could rake the stern of the bow, it cause a lot of damage and you could actually defeat the ship. Okay, let's put the pickle guns back on her. I like those little pickle guns. They load fast. They don't do a lot of damage. Ow. Who are you shooting back? Eh, shoot me all you want, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. The Pandora is gonna get you. Come back around on the wind. Come up on the starboard. We're loaded. Well, I got my main gun. Main main battery's ready. Screw it. Come here. I'll put her in there. Just a very balanced ship. It's not the best ship in the game. I will be the first to say that. But it's not bad. And, the, it, you know, folks, the naval action uh, design team did a very good job designing her and... and, and really trying to uh, pay tribute to the ship it's not accurate with guns and everything obviously but hey the ship looks great fire yeah light you up my little pickle guns I'm about to sink your ass that's ow 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 Ooh. yeah she's fighting turn those sails again this is called manual sailing in the game you gotta learn how to Move your uh, yard arms and your sails. There we go. And that's the one thing about the Pandora I've noticed. She's very maneuverable in the wind. A lot of ships ain't like that. Oh, main battery's ready. Let's give it to her. There you go. 
Oh, I hit the water. Did you see that? Pickle guns are ready. <laughs> Killed eight crews. See how much crew they kill in the upper part of the screen? Oh, she about to sink. Let's go ahead and call the boarding party up. Stand by. We're going to slow down. Drop our sails. She's going to sink, folks. Our old man Rebel's going to get another prize. Put a couple carronades into her. Just give it, girl. Just give it up. You can fire at me all you want, but you're about to die right here. Ah, uh, she's sinking. Let's take a look at the hold. Let me see your goodies. Ooh, rum. We'll take that. Rig repairs. You definitely need that. I love these little coals pumps. We're going to take that. Mass rake aft. We'll take that. And we will take the uh, oh, basic ballast relay. Okay, we'll take that too. Thank you, girl. We got to go now. Let's give a little victory, a little victory fire, what do you think? The Pandora. Not a bad ship, folks. Not a bad ship at all. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, if you're just new to the game and uh, you can pick one of these up or somebody's willing to build you one, um, you can still find them in the ports. Uh, like I said, it's DLC, but you, you, somebody can build one. And uh, it, it's well worth uh, really taking out and learning how to use because, like I said, the Pandora is a light frigate. You're, you're designed to go after traders and after enemy shipping and stuff like that. Maybe light six rate, seven rate warships like I just did with that Mercury back there as he <laughs> sinked. Um, but standing up in a line of battle, going board to board, cannon to cannon with a Constitution or a Trent Kamali or a heavy frigate, don't do it. You're just going to die. Use this ship like you would a trader, like a hunter. Go out there and get them. And you can have a really good time with this ship. All in all, I give this ship, if I had to give this ship a 1 out of 10, 10 being like, oh my god, it's fantastic. I would give the Pandora a solid 8. It's definitely a solid 8. It's not the best ship in the world, but it's not the worst ship in the world either. And if you learn how to sail her, you learn how to fight her, you can do some amazing things with this little ship. And not, not to mention the graphics on the ship are not bad. There's the main master, it's the fighting top. Got our colors. Got the crew doing their thing. It's a good ship, folks. Well, anyway, this is Old Man Rebel saying uh, peace out. I don't want to make the video too long. And uh, thank you for coming along and uh, reviewing the uh, HMS Pandora. It's a beautiful ship. Give her a chance. I think you guys would like it. Peace out from Buckeye Urza.